H A Z I E T O H A Z I E Toha J Toha means a hunter. J means red. So the red hunter. My brother, my sister, today we're talking about the red hunter. Now, to the red hunter was said to come all the way from Zamfara in northern Nigeria. He was light-skinned. For that matter, they called him Tohaje, the red hunter. He was a hunter who was light-skinned. So they simply called him Tohaje, the red hunter. And he came all the way from Zamfara, all the way from Banzabakwe in Nigeria. And he came through Chad. All the way down, my brother, my sister. He was a hunter. And he was a hunter who never missed. He was a very beautiful archer. In other words, he had a serious dexterity with bows and arrows. And he never missed. And he was physically built. Power. Panga. Today, my brother, my sister, Toaje, the red hunter, came all the way whilst hunting. He moved from place to place. Now there came a time when there was a serious drought. In other words, lack of water. The land was so dry. In such cases, he would move to other areas where he could find his animals to hunt. And Tohaje was a powerful man. Listen to this. Because he moved from place to place, he knew the area very, very well. He knew what to eat. He knew what not to eat. He knew how to find shelter. And he knew exactly what kind of dangers were lying in stock waiting for him. To Haje the Red Hunter, my producer has found a drawing which is a very beautiful one. And I love this drawing. Oh my God, have mercy. Now you'll see To Haje sitting on a horse holding a spear. Now I'm going to be telling you this story pretty, pretty soon. It is a painting and you'll see in the background the two baobabs growing heavy and nice as in wife and husband, and just after the Baobab, you would find the Larabanga Mosque. Tuaje the Red Hunter was said to originally be coming all the way from Zamfara, just around Banzabakwe. Oh, many people said he had his ancestry in Arabia, and we're going to be proving that very, very soon. In fact, originally the Dagombes and the Modi Dagbani group came all the way from Arabia. And in another lecture, we will prove to you why the Moli Dagbani group, who are the Moli Dagbani group, the Dagombes, the Nanumbes, the Mampruses, including the Kusasis and even more. All of them originally came from Arabia from several, several, several hundreds of years. But today we are limiting it to Tohaje the Red Hunter. Tuaje the Red Hunter came from Banzabakwe in the Zamfara area of Nigeria. He was a hunter who moved from place to place depending on the vagaries of the weather and also depending on the seasons. Now there came a time he arrived somewhere in Mali. Because there was serious drought, he decided to stay there for a time and then move on. See what happened now in the area. There was only one source of drinking water which was not dry yet. Unfortunately, a wild animal had taken over this drinking place, source of water. So this wild animal was driving people away from coming to fetch water. And the people continued to suffer. No water. The only source of good drinking water that was still there. The others had dried up, had been taken over by a wild bull. It was a terrible bull. And everybody was scared of this. Hey. See what happened now. Mm -mm -mm -mm. When Tuaje got to the area, he was told that a bull had taken over the whole place. And the king of the land in Mali had announced that any warrior who was able to subdue that wild animal would be given a beautiful woman in the kingdom to marry. So Haji heard this 
He was not too interested in the woman price. He was interested in saving the people because water is life. And if your only source of surviving drinking water is taken over by a wild bull, then he was ready to deal with the bull. So Ajay decided to go all the way to the source of drinking water. He asked some warriors to direct him to the place. When they got halfway, they all ran back and just said, well, just, just continue. Go after the baobab. And after the next baobab, you will see the source of drinking water. You will never miss it. They ran back because they were scared of the wild bull. So Ajay kept walking. Hey, we kept walking. But he had a secret. He had a chant. And this chant was able to empower him to move on. Now far away, just before he reached the source of drinking water, he heard the roaring of the bull like a lion. And he also started chanting. Kunkunda, da kunkunda, eh? Kunkunda, da kunkunda, njain, njain, kunkunda, kai, da kunkunda, ai, kunkunda, da kunkunda, njain, njain, kunkunda, kai, da kunga, ai, kunkunda, da kunkunda, kunkunda, kai, da kunkunda. Now, what is the meaning of this chant? Never go down. I will never go down. There is no day I will go down, even if the crew crew comes. If Kai Kai comes, Kai Kai means, hey, stop, hey, stop. Kunkunda, da kunkunda, eh? Kunkunda, da kunkunda, njain, njain, kunkunda, Kai, da kunkunda, mpata, kunkunda, da kunkunda, nkur, kunkunda, hai, da kunkunda, njain, njain, kunkunda. When he arrives at the water body, it was also drying up gradually. The bull chased him. Oh my God. And he also followed the bull. In no time, he was able to subdue this bull, kill the bull. And that is the bull you see in the picture. My producer has posted. That's the dead animal lying that you see. It's not an ordinary bull. And then the woman standing in front of him is supposed to be the woman that the king gave to him as a prize. In fact, the king put together a number of women, numbering about 17. Some other sources say 27. So Ajay was supposed to pick one. But he picked a woman who could not walk. Called Pawabga. Some sources say Pawabgu. It means a woman who is disabled. Why did Tuhaje pick up that woman? That secret he never told. But we can decode the secret. You know, he was a man who traveled from place to place. He was a man who never stood at one place for long. Akobam, on Jnafa Kunche. So if you go and pick up a beautiful, very, very pretty woman, then you know that the woman will become the delicacy for men when you are away. So she picked up a disabled woman, not too pretty. And then they gave birth to a son by name Kokonumbo. Don't try to pronounce it. Kobonumbo. Kobonumbo was their son. Today we want to concentrate on Tuaje the Red Hunter. In fact, I made a song about Tuaje the Red Hunter. I'm going to ask my producer to go on YouTube and then get the video, which is a cartoonish video called Kunkunda. K U N K U N. D A is one word, Kunkunda. And he's going to play it so that at least you can watch. But in the interim, this is the African history class. Yo, this is a true story. The story 